Husky will charge our FSDs but leave our throttles to zero so we won't jump. Tempest will jump ahead. Once he's happy that the system's clear, he'll let me know and then I will say alpha jump when ready, at which point we'll all jump. Uh, I'll jump last so you two will jump first and then I'll jump after you just as soon as I see you guys disappear. We'll reorg in the next system and then we'll rinse and repeat all the way to the last system. The last system's a little bit different but I'll explain that on our penultimate stop. Cool. If at any point you get interdicted, um, if there's an NPC, basically if we can predict it in time, there are actions we can take. So if I'm not happy with the state that the system's in, we'll ask you to move away from the start and low wake. If the situation is a little bit more serious than that, you can either low wake yourself and we'll come and find you, or we can drag you out of super cruise using our friendship drive interdictors. We will tell you if we're doing this, but it's a good tactic that we sometimes use. If all of that fails and you do get interdicted, what will happen is I want you to submit to the interdiction. We'll then use Navlock, providing it works, or manual drop to drop on your position and defend you. Uh, at which point what I need you to do is as soon as you drop out, boost away as quickly as you can and just keep running and then high weight to the next system. And once you've done that, we'll come and find you. Cool. Understood. Questions? No, I know how to target the system. When you say alpha jump on ready, I jump. Yep. If it, I submit and try to get it away. Yep. Uh, that should be and everything. Manual docking procedure, and I'll explain that when we get there. Um, if anybody needs fuel at any point on this sister, uh, this journey, let me know. I've checked over the route. I imagine Briskies isn't that much different. Uh, there's plenty of scoopable stars. However, if you do, you are short fuel. Shout up before we need to shout for the fuel rats, and we'll get it sorted. Okay, it should be no problem. I should be able to make all these jumps. Yeah, you should be fine. Tempest, Brisky, you know what you're doing. Right, so with that in mind, if there are any further things that I've missed, let me know now. If not, uh, Navlead, can you please call out the next system? First system is Capricorn Ice Sector. Uh, man, I'm just spacing okay, out. Okay. <clears throat> Mario X ray dash uniform space Charlie 2 18. Cool, 18.1 light, light years, my apologies. And hold, bravo jump when ready. Bravo jumping. Dispatch, this is Ben for Destin. I'm about to arrive in the destination system. Ready one in, in Super Cruise or at the, the destination station? Yeah, stay, stay in Super Cruise until uh, Bravo arrives in the system and then head to the station. Brisky, did you jump? Yeah, I was told to jump. It's a bravo, bravo jump when ready. You're alpha, Brusky. You're nav lead, but alpha. I'm sorry. Brisky plus. I'm very used <laughs> to nav lead being bravo. Okay. Alpha miss jump. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'll wait for you guys. Don't worry about it. Explore, we are professionals, I promise. Maybe. <laughs> professionals in a very loose tent, like, sense of the word. There is no now beacon, but there is a commander in system. Uh, and he's not brisky. Uh, no, it's brisky, I'm not sure. <laughs> so funny. Right, alpha jump when ready. First you troll me with Game of Thrones, and now you're trolling me with this. This is not okay. I mean, it's kind of what we do. <laughs> we are professional trip races. On grid, eyes on everybody. Next system, if you would please, nav lead. Capricorn Sector November X ray dash uniform space Charlie 2 9 18.8 light years. Bravo jump when ready, alpha charge and hold. Think now. I'm alright in thinking we've got our first PS going on currently in mission room one. No, that's no, already the second. second. Oh, we got we had two already. That's quick. <laughs> no no beacon, no contacts. Copy alpha jump memory. No, we have 
had two. Oh, fair enough. Eyes on everybody. Next system, if you could please, enough lead. Next system is Capricorn Sector Romeo India Dash Tango Space Bravo Three Dash Three One Four Point Seven Light Years. Copy that. That was completely wrong. Delay that. Alpha charge and hold. Bravo jump when ready. Don't listen to anything I say. Come on, Chris. This would make the mission really difficult. Bravo charge and hold. Alpha jump. Seriously, I've got that trademarked. You can't copy that. <laughs> Correct. <clears throat> I am in system. There is no nav beacon and no contacts. Excellent. Alpha. Got it right that time. Jump when ready. Can we stop at a station somewhere and buy cargo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making all these mistakes because I'm not drunk enough yet. That's the problem. <laughs> Do you like that drill sergeant that always has like a flask of whiskey on him? Drink two glasses of port on every Iridium wing mission unless they're really quick. At which point I drink three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on everybody. Next system please, lovely. Capricorn I sector Joliet Romeo dash whiskey space Charlie one dash one seven one seven point six light years. Copy that. Alpha charge and hold, Bravo jump when ready. Yep, bing up. I tell you, Mike, having a clipper for escorts is so much better than an FDL. Yep. Yeah. I, I still maintain the best two escort ships are pythons and clippers. I've got the python. I'm really tempted to build a clipper. The, the, orca all the way. <laughs> you are not allowed to come here with your orca and spout that. <laughs> no nav beacon, no contacts. I'm ready. The problem is, Brain, is that you fly it well and you've built it well, so people actually think you're credible, and it just no, you shouldn't be flying an orca on an escort mission. Sounds I legit. Build, uh, I want to build a battle T9 for escort missions. A battle T9, what, well, just six there and tanks damage, just all of the whole reinforcement. 3.6k armor, 1.2k shields, plasma slug rails, so never run out of ammo. Yes. <laughs> Every bit yeah. on stage. Have a lead if you would. Next system is India Charlie Zulu Space Whiskey Kilo Dash Oscar Space Bravo 6 Dash 1 1 6.5 light years. Copy that. Alpha charge and hold. Bravo jump when ready. I've also got a build for a rail wander. <laughs> and oh, the Iridium Wing Railwinder is <laughs> yeah. useful. Um, the, the Iridium Wing Whale Railwinder <laughs> and a mind bombing ass. I really don't think you can swing the Railwinder on missions. <laughs> no, you couldn't, but it's hilarious fun. <laughs> it is. What is that like a well known build? It's, it's a bit of a joke build where basically you outfit it to be really good at silent running so it can basically silent run forever without overheating and it has rails which are engineered to hit up to seven kilometers away Damn. so you just kite everything <laughs> no doubt we can no contacts copy alpha jump when ready is that the better than the dragon diamondback scouter explorer for silent running then or is it just funnier it's funnier okay I know it's very good. I don't, I don't actually know because I've never done a silent run build on a Diamondback Explorer before, but I know they're pretty good at it. No, the, the Railwinder build that I have 
Okay. Alpha is the instance with Bravo, but the system is unoccupied and I'm happy with the state of it, so we shall carry on as normal. Okay. You ready to type? And then now, lead, take it away. Ready, Bravo? HIP space 111407. That's 14.8 light years. Cool, bravo, jump when ready, let us know when you're in system, alpha charge and hold. We'll give it two more jumps, if we don't instance on the next two jumps, we'll then drop to low space, re-instance re re in low space and then go again. But sometimes it sorts itself out and we're going through an inhabited system, so I'm not that bothered. Yep, we can. But the real one to build that I have, it goes 470 meters per second. Uh, and it has sturdy, sturdy mount rails, so you basically just fly around a wing fight and be an annoying bee, stopping banks and sniping modules. <laughs> I miss. Yeah, but that's what is. No, no, we can no contact. Cool. Alpha jump when ready. Where's the fun in that though? Because you want the long range mod, so you can like really reach out and hit people. No, it's more fun when you're close by because they know you're there and they can't do shit about it because you're so small to hit. Fair enough. My other troll build is the, uh, the mind bombing ass. It has three reverb cascade mines, uh, one ion mine, I have eyes on this world by the way, an FSD reset missile, um, and a super pen rail. For modern spending. Nice. Next Eight. system is India Charlie Zulu. Space. Why am I spacing out today? I'm sorry. Space Papa Yankee dash Romeo. Space Bravo 4 dash 2. 19.0 light years. Copy that. Bravo jump when ready. Alpha charge and hold. I think the funniest troll build I've ever seen was Sinclair's one when he was doing community goals and he had a cutter with every hard point was mines and the mines had the had like a ridiculously uh, like had were all modded um, and basically if he ever got interdicted he'd just run in the opposite direction and just tank any damage on his shields because his cutter is really fast and then when people in FDLs tried to chase him they just got like lost all of their shields and like a third of their health in one hit because they took like all eight like mines immediately it was just <laughs> hilarious i've done so that with funny. npcs but i've never modded one enough to stand up to a pc oh. no nav vk no contacts off a jump when ready it only works because absolutely nobody expects you to be using mines and because you're flying so quickly before like they can make sure what's going on they've already hit them and just nobody expects like so you can't kill them, but you can escape pretty easily? Well, you can easily dodge them, and I'm not sure if they show up on your radar, but basically because people are following you so closely... Yeah. They do show up on radar. Bravo, but same as last time, we'll carry on and see if it resolves itself. Okay, enough leads on you. HIP space 113968 that's 15.4 light years. Got it. Cool. Oh, Bravo, jump and ready. Alpha charge and hold. <laughs> Jumping now. Nav lead, how many jumps we got left? Four. Cool. Return in style. Oh. Give me a shout when we're about to jump into the penultimate system. Will do. Thank you. Penultimate or ultimate? Penultimate. Okay. Take our second to last jump. Yep. And in system, there is no nav beacon and no contacts. I'm ready. We are on mission. Uh, I don't remember if you're in the mission. But me, brain. And uh, the explorer jumped in the system, and there was a commander Python. <laughs> and I was wondering what he felt like just having three player commanders jump into the system as soon as he did. 
Nice. I, I don't think I was on that mission, but I've done a mission before where there was a guy in what he must have thought was a quite heavy, everybody on station was what he thought must have been like a quite heavily armed ass, but I think he was like competent or the rank beneath it. And suddenly three, it was two pythons and an FDL and an Asp Explorer all jump in system. And I've never seen anybody run so quickly. Like he literally just legged it. It was so funny. <laughs> People do that when you drop in in like a heavily armed wing. Cool, Nav lead you up. Next system uh, is India oh. Charlie Zulu, uh, space October Delta dash Sierra, space Bravo 4 dash 0, 14.0 light years. Copy that, Alpha charge and hold, Bravo jump when ready. Yeah, what was it, Brain? I didn't. I just wanted to add something about the piping guy, but then no. go for it. <laughs> yeah, um, he, yeah, he didn't run. I think he didn't have the situational awareness to notice that this was not so easy for commanders. But he left in the race at the same time. He had no interdictor, so we didn't bother. No, no, we can no contacts. Copy that. Alpha jump. I'm ready. This is our third to last jump. Copy that, thank you. Destination system is relatively clear, by the way. Just too bad the wedding barge is not wanted. Very disappointing. Yeah. One day. Everybody's on grid. Next system is India Charlie Zulu, space Kilo X ray, dash Tango, space Bravo 3 dash 4. That's 17 light years. Alpha charge and hold, Bravo jump when ready. This is our second to last jump. These kind of stars troll me. What is it? Brown Dwarf? Was that a Tutori star? Ah, okay. Because they look scooped. Oh, they the do. Top. I hate these. Good. Eyes on everybody. Right, Explorer, what I now need you to do is to move away from the star and then go into your galaxy map and select the system that we're going to and then when you select the station that you want to go to and plot a route directly to that, that means that you're not having to mess around plotting a route in the target system. I think the most I ever saw was, I remember there was three missions when I first started because there was an exploration community goal and we had two going in mission room, we had one in mission room one, one in mission room two and we had to have one going in Iridium lounge and then we, as soon as mission room one finished, another one dived straight after that. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, if, were you there with us, Brain, when we did that and we, we ended up, I ended up flying three missions back to back. That was hard. I don't remember, sadly, but I really hope we get another um, exploration community go. That was heavy, because the exploration, the destination system was 20,000 light seconds away from the star, so it was oh, just 20,000 oh, oh, light seconds of absolutely bricking yourself as an escort pilot, looking at all these PvP ships going, oh, for God's sake, right, here we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I imagine they were all there, because it was a community goal, too. Good though, we had like a lot of the PvP pilots on the wing had a great time, like Buma and Judy, like when Judy was actually flying, they were earning their money that day. Judy and Buma got so many kills between them, it was ridiculous. Anyway, um, 
Right, have you selected the station, Explorer? I have. Excellent. So the way this is going to work... So the way this is going to work is... Um, Bravo, can you go ahead and jump now, please, and start scanning the system so we've got a bit more of a lead time? Uh, okay. I'm moving over to the station now. Yeah, can you just stay in Super Cruise long enough to see if uh, you instance with Bravo or not? Yeah. If not, don't worry about it, but just see if you can. Um, once Bravo's happy, it's clear. Explorer, what I'll do is ask you to jump. As soon as you get there, don't wait for orders. Wait. I jump now. Good. Not yet, not yet. Um, but when you do jump, what I want you to do, as soon as you arrive on station, head straight for the station, don't listen to anything that we... Um, don't listen to wait for any orders, just head. Good. Um, head straight for the station, and then once you get there, drop out and then throttle to zero, and just wait for us all to arrive. Uh, once we're there, in system, Tempest, I want you running Overwatch, just scanning NPCs and interdicting anything that's hostile. Rusky, I want you to stick close to the Explorer. I'll be doing the same and basically just look after them all the way to the station. Okay. Cool. How's it looking, Bravo? There's a side one doing a Viper. I'm checking if the Viper has an interdictor. Uh, it's internal security okay. service. Uh, that's fine, leave it. Did you say you were wanted, Explorer? Um. Yes, um, I have a galaxy-wide bounty of 400. Uh, when I okay. saw my train... Hey, do you see some security? I don't respond so. to that. I don't think so. As in station security? Be Basically, do we need to do a firing run on the station or not? I could do if we have to. <laughs> I can do it as well, I don't mind doing that. I'll probably let Brain do it because he's, he's not in the wing and he's faster. Hmm. I might just kill myself anyway because I need to get back to the CG. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the CG enough. over? Is there a new one? Uh, yeah, I think it's over, but I'm doing in houses with Renegades tonight, so. Ah, gotcha. How's it looking, Tempest? Eagle, Torvald Shield has an interdictor, but he's like 500 on seconds. That's fine. Right. Ask Scout. The trigger. Oh, Alpha, jump when ready. Uh, the destination stations are clear. Cool, yeah. thank you very much. I'll start moving towards the destination station. Eyes on Tempest, eyes on Brusky. Explorer, are you still in Super Cruise? Yes, uh, well, yeah, I've just arrived. Eyes on Explorer. Cool. Eyes, on, eyes on Explorer. Right. Explorer, head straight for the station. We'll be right behind you. Brain, I think if it's alright with you, we'll do a firing run on the station just to make sure everything's alright and you're not on the wing, so we should be okay. Of course, yeah. Cool. Um, I'm just trying to find somebody that is not like right next to the station. <laughs> I mean, I, I could also, always go for the Torvald security, uh, Torvald Shields, since he's I'm going to scan me anyways. Just get set up and then be ready to go as soon as we... I'll try to, yeah. I'm going to get the Explorer set up on the mail slot before we commit. Drop oh, yeah. Station. It's actually pretty that. perfect. I've got a, uh, an interior term of security trying to scan him. And he's moving away. Damn it. <laughs> Just appeared. Oh, it's, it's Tempest. Don't worry. <laughs> I 
Alright, throttle down. Cool. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, he just he dropped um, 900 kilometers. Okay. But all of the Indians is apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, in, we're both in instance, we're just 900 kilometers oh, away. Oh, alright. Oh Let's no, see if it works. Yeah. not in instance with us. That's better, right. Yeah. Cool. I'm ready to start. Okay. Where is too. the explorer? Explorer, are you, uh, what I need explorer for you to do is just to be set up on the mail slot, and as soon as you're set up, about eight kilometers away, let us know. Okay, all right. I'll begin moving to the other side of the station. Explorer isn't wanted, so they won't shoot on him, just saying. Is he not? Oh, excellent. Yeah, I'm not wanted. Double check, you're not wanted on your panel on your right hand side, are you? Just like... Not here. here. Not, not here. No. In which case, brain belay your previous orders, we don't need a firing run. Explorer, proceed to... I want to, move. <laughs> I do anyway. <laughs> just for the level. Two, do you a firing run, but... It isn't necessary, so just do it whenever. Um, Explorer, if you want to move within seven and a half kilometers and request docking, go for it. Everybody should be coming after me now. The crew of Bandits. Bye, begin dogging. You what, sorry? Remember to request docking. I have requested docking. Should I proceed through the mail slot? Yeah, proceed through the mail slot. Brusky, is there anything big messing around in there? There isn't an asp coming out. I'll be okay. I'm only worried about type 9s and stuff. I don't like that. see anything. There might be a beluga on its way out. I'll watch and see. Nope, it's going in. If... Should be clear. Okay. Yep, Explorer, feel free to head into the mail slot. Remember to be below 100 meters per second and remember to deploy your landing gear before landing. Whoa, the station fire range is huge. Is it criminal darkness? <laughs> I had to, they nearly got me at 12%. My shield turns blown out. Thank you for the escort. No, it's a. Uh... Fantastic experience. Explorer on the pad. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Welcome home, Commander. Welcome home. Thank you very How much. long had you been out for? Oh, I think it was about a week and a half. I got Fair about enough. 60 terraformable worlds, uh, uh, three ammonia worlds, nice. and one uh, on Earthlight. Dang, congrats. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty good for one week. Well done. Letting me return in great style. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, time to catch in. Money, money, money. I went straight from a Type 6 uh, transporter to a diamond bag, kitted out to. Uh, and. Yeah, I'm now going to see if I have enough for a pipe. Seems likely with that much. Otherwise, you could always do quits. <laughs> no, no, I don't like stuff like that. I, I, no, oh, okay. I, I didn't do the road to riches either, I found my own way. I guess he made, uh, I think, 150 million credits on his so weak run. Found one system, one system with seven terraformables and three earth legs. That's crazy. That's pretty um, good. In, in uh, about about two weeks, he went from a side wind up to an anaconda. 
problem with people doing that, but then you know that those people will go from a Sidewinder to an Anaconda in two weeks, complain about the fact that it's not very good because they don't know how to fly it or outfit it properly, and then oh, it just doesn't... Oh, he does. He does. I know he does, but mm -hmm. you get a lot of people who don't, and then it's just a lot of crying on the forums. Hey, 10 million on the first page. Nice. Alright, does anybody want to see fireworks? Because I'm going to boost into the side of the station and return to the CG. Oh well, yeah. Then, Risky, I'm, he I'm heading back home. Are you uh, staying here or are you coming back to Key with me? I'm going to come back to Key. Cool. I'm coming back to Key too. Who's crashing into the station? Yes. Me. <laughs> It's really it's hard to kill a whole tank by ramming the station. Yeah, how much how much did you bring you? How much are earning? I mean you could always shoot at the station. That's no, fine. Okay. Damage. Ah, oh, apparently I disconnected. Good. Well. Good. What sort of range does the uh, clipper get in an escort build? Uh, about five, like twenty-three inches. Yeah, I think St. Clair's is about twenty-five. Uh, and that's what Dropout Dragon had. I might do that. Yeah, you tend to find you tend to find for escort builds. Like that big window, like this. Thing. It has a cockpit that's not very obstructed. That's nice. Get good views. Yeah, you tend to, for escort builds, you tend to get the, the FDLs have between 15 and 17, and 20 and 23, and then the Clippers have oh, between so 23 and 26. The Orcas have between 26 and 28. Flies an Orca, brain. <laughs> I would find it. Brain, I should build an Orca so we can have the... Uh, don't encourage it. We don't encourage it. We don't, we don't need this. You know, I just got a Beluga. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Not even fast. Wait, let me send you a video. What? Let me link a video in chat. Okay. Which chat? Uh, I'll link it in the mission room. Okay. Uh, right, I'm going home. I'll see you guys back at Bennett Port. Yep. Awesome. How many jumps is it for you? Mayhem. Nine jumps for me. What? Damn it, what's your jump range? Currently 22. Oh. oh, yes, I see. Yeah. What's yours? How many jumps have you got? Seven. Ten. Christ, Brisky, you've got expensive taste at the bar, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't deserve it. That was a very easy mission. Not a single enemy contact. Hey, do not complain. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I always say to people, like, just they, if things get exciting on an Iridium Wing mission, it means you've done something wrong or you've got really unlucky. Yeah. To be honest, even NPCs on an Iridium Wing mission are a lot of fun, so. And rarely a problem. <laughs> no. Not really a problem, but fun to kill. It is always quite funny when you end up with like an enemy eagle in your instance and just to see how quickly it doesn't last. Right. There was one a few weeks ago where we had respawning NPCs trying to interdict the commander. That was oh, yeah, amusing. That. <laughs> Tempest, do you remember the Python that died within one second? Oh, yeah. What sort of paper python was that? I have no idea, but I think he didn't even have sheep, so... Was it like mostly harmless or something? Novice, if I remember correctly. Uh, wow. <laughs> Check out uh, the mission room when you get a chance. Oh, there. I posted the video. Is this the battle orca, or...? Oh, no, battle beluga, oh. apparently. Yeah. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fly as well as Euclides. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Something.
versus an FTL, oh, this is going to be good. 